Hey, what's going on everybody? It's the Fake Weeb here, and today I want to analyze and talk about the Attack on Titan Season 4 opening, My War. Before I get any further, I do want to thank each and every single one of you for supporting the channel as we have just passed 50 subscribers. Rather you watch my videos, like them, and or even subscribe, any support, I am grateful and very much appreciated, so thank you so much. And getting back to the video, I do want to say that I'm uploading this as only the first episode for Season 4 has come out, so if you are a manga reader, then you will possibly laugh while watching this video, because I'm going to be predicting and analyzing this opening for maybe what it means to this show and what could possibly happen in future episodes. I don't read the manga for Attack on Titan, so it's all just prediction. And if you do read the manga, then again, I assure you that my predictions might be so off. And if you ever want to comment a spoiler comment, then please have a spoiler warning and then enter tab four times and then comment the spoiler. So people like me who haven't read the manga, uh, we won't be spoiled and we'll have like an option to read more or not. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the video. So let me just start by saying that this opening is very different from previous Attack on Titan openings. This one is very more art based and we also don't see any of like our original characters or like the scouts other than Aaron uh, in the end which I'll get onto later. But yeah the opening starts off with a huge explosion that seems to be happening near a base or some facility. We do see a watchtower so that's why I kind of indicate maybe an army base. But yeah this frame and the next two frames share something in common which I'll explain soon. But yeah the second frame shows these kind of ships uh, looks like they're just trying to get exploded and the last frame here seems to be soldiers trying to explode something with an RPG but yeah all these three frames or these three scenes are grayed out right they're discolored except the only thing that's colored are the explosions the base is grayed out the ships and the water are grayed out as well as the human beings the soldiers themselves are grayed out but what's colored are the explosions happening in each frame this basically happens throughout the whole opening as well everything is non-colored but the explosions a soldier using a flamethrower is grayed out but the flames itself are colored this colored and non-colored symbolism can mean that what's colored matters and what's not colored doesn't matter we know for sure that this opening is about war. We see a lot of explosions, you know, soldiers marching in unison, missiles, and even in the first episode, we know that, okay, this is definitely war. So if the explosions are colored while the humans are grayed out, this can indicate that war is more important than humanity. And it's not just the soldiers that are grayed out, it's just basically everything else in the scene, everything else in the picture. So it's also saying that war is draining out all the colors from the rest of the world. I feel like this is what the season will be about, or at least the first half of the season. We will see a lot of battles and war going on, but we lose focus on the real meaning of war, that it really is just the true horror. We lose focus on humanity and become obsessed with fighting, and we'll start all this killing and we then just see more and more humans perishing from war as it shows later on the opening just soldiers eviscerating from bombs and also what's important about this opening is actually the lyrics themselves so let's actually dive into the lyrics it starts off with let's start a new life from the darkness until the light reveals the end so i think what this means is kind of like the end of season three referring to the short amount of peace in paradise island before clashing with marley yet again and then it says, Sinister Faces Growing Curses, This Is My Last War. So, Sinister Faces Growing Curses maybe refers to Eldians, um, or for me specifically, this kind of reminds me of Eren, Sinister Faces Growing Curses as, you know, talking about the curse of Ymir. I think this line is what Marley thinks of people living in Paradise Island, right? The Eldians, the fact that they can turn it into Titans, and then, you know, growing curses with the curse of Ymir, which actually adds on to the next line, uh, that's angels playing disguised with devil's faces. So, this sounds like, again, from an enemy's point of view, maybe how Marley viewed the people of Paradise Island, or it could be the other way around, Marley manipulates the info into making everyone believe that they are angels when they are really just the same as Eldians before or maybe even worse. And that would make sense because the ancient king did manipulate Marlarian's minds to make them believe that the people living in Paradise Island, including himself, are devils. The next line is, children cling to their last coins. So. This sounds like a very desperate line, and I see this as little children or poor refugees dying in vain or in desperate need of help with this war going on, right? Children clinging to their last coins, you know, maybe they're holding on as much as they can, or maybe they're holding on to something valuable. Maybe in season four, we'll meet a lot of these new children and then, you know, possibly they might die. That's kind of my guess. Um, and then the next line is destruction and regeneration. You are the real enemy. So destruction and regeneration to me represents a titan. It can, you know, cause destruction. It can also regenerate. Uh, and then it says you are the real enemy. It doesn't say you are the enemy. Simple as that. No, it says you are the real enemy. So the fact that it has the word real, I feel like it's kind of saying that who we think is the enemy is not them, but the real enemy is us or maybe ourselves 
or maybe Aaron is what I'm actually guessing. When watching Attack on Titan, our whole perspective is Aaron and the squad. And now in season four, we know that the enemies that they want to, you know, come to battle with are the people of Marley. And again, like I said in the beginning, this opening could be just the way Marley viewed the people of Paradise Island. It's saying that they're actually the real enemy and it's not them. Uh, yeah, I think it really just talks about Aaron, right? Destruction and regeneration. It definitely represents a Titan. And then, you know, you are the real enemy. That could be someone from the good guys. And again, Attack on Titan's whole perspective we see is Aaron and the scouts. So is it talking about Aaron? I don't know. You'd be the judge. But the reason why it might also be talking about Aaron because the last bit actually says my war, my war, monster, monster, monster. And when it chants monster, the camera actually zooms in on what it looks like to be Aaron as the attack titan. So really just thinking about this whole opening, it does seem to be taken from Marley's point of view. Uh, angels playing disguise as devil's faces, how Malarians thinks, Eldians think to themselves that they are angels, but really in disguise, they are devils, they are the real threat or the real enemy. And destruction and regeneration, you are the real enemy, saying it's actually them being the real threat. And then monster, 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 you know, the camera angle literally zooming on Aaron. I don't know, I feel like that kind of took it away. The fact that it zooms in on Aaron and chants monster. It, it, I don't know, does it mean that maybe Aaron is the real monster and he's the real enemy? I don't know, that's that's what I kind of got from this opening. And also this opening is really just heavily focused on war. So yeah, that's kind of just my prediction, my guess. Again, I could be totally wrong. I could be probably somewhat on par and maybe right. I don't know. Again, if you are a manga reader, then again, if you are going to say spoilers in the comments, then please be sure to have a spoiler warning. And if you aren't a manga reader and want to guess maybe your thoughts of this opening, then definitely go guess ahead. Uh, I do read almost every single comment. I think I had, a, I had like quite a lot of comments more than usual on my last video, and I've read probably almost every single one of them so yeah feel free to comment anything you want but anything else that's kind of all i got to say so that is going to actually wrap up the video and if you guys found this video interesting then i'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like and uh, hey if you want to see more attack on titan content then you can subscribe to the channel or not that's totally up to you uh, i am planning to make like more attack on titan maybe jujutsu kaisen and then the promised neverland next year as, as well as other animes as well like my hero and all that so if you guys want to stick around i'd be very glad but yeah thank you so much for watching it's been the fake weeb and I'm out. Peace.